this chapter, we want to take a look at the market for the inputs into production. When we started out talking about firms, we said kind of nonchalantly that firms had to make some choices and then live with them. One of the choices that they have to make has to do with how many machines, how much capital they're going to use at any point in time. We want to take a look at how the demand for capital is determined. We also want to take a look at how the demand for labor can be described for the market as a whole. So we talked about how firms, in earlier chapters, we talked about how firms would choose a quantity of output to produce. Here we want to, to describe what that means for how many laborers 